Kerala, a land of lush greenery, vibrant traditions and abundant wildlife. Known as God's own country, it is home to some of India's most magnificent landscapes. From the tranquil backwaters to the dense rainforest of the western ghats, these forests, older than the Himalayas, shelter an incredible diversity of life and play a crucial role in maintaining the region's ecological balance. Wayanad, with its mystery valleys and ancient forests, is a haven for wildlife. These forests purify the air, regulate water cycles, and support local communities. Yet, they face mounting threats. Expanding settlements, deforestation, and plantations are fragmenting habitats, intensifying human wildlife conflict. At the heart of this ecosystem stands the tiger, an apex predator whose survival depends on healthy forest and abundant prey. As habitats shrink, prey species face growing challenges, endangering the entire food chain. Wayanad's forests support a rich diversity of wildlife that sustains the tiger. Chetal shape open grasslands, while the elusive barking deer thrives along forest edges. Sambar, India's largest deer, is a key prey for tigers, while wild pigs maintain the forest floor and gore the mighty Indian bison influences landscape through grazing. Understanding habitat loss is key to conservation. Researchers use camera traps and mapping to track wildlife and see how they adapt to changing environments. Occupancy modeling, a scientific method, helps estimate where animals are likely to be found and how they respond to habitat changes. This approach provides valuable insights for conservation planning. Analysis of Wayanad's forest identified key habitat types, moist deciduous forest, teak plantations, coffee mix plantations, and agriculture lands. Moist deciduous forests are highly fragmented, while coffee plantations act as a corridors providing pathways for some species. Different species respond in unique ways. Chital adapt well living in both forest and human areas. Gaur prefer open forest but struggle where land is cleared for farming. Barking deer thrive in dense coffee plantation and are less affected by fragmentation. Sambar normally found in thick forest are now appearing in open and teak forest suggesting that habitat loss is pushing them to less ideal environments. Wild pigs thrive in farmlands and human settlements. As forest shrink, human wildlife conflict crisis, tigers venture into settlements, preying on livestock leading to economic losses and retaliation. Coexistence grows increasingly fragile. Yet, hope remains. The forest department, NGOs, and local communities are working to restore corridors and reduce conflict. Protecting Wayanad's forest isn't just about saving tigers, it's about preserving an entire ecosystem. The tiger's roar is more than a call of the wild. It's a warning, a plea, a call to action. By answering it, we secure a future where nature and people thrive together. The forests of Wayanad are more than a home for wildlife. They are a legacy for future generations. Let's protect them for the tiger, for the prey, for all of us.